This is a short video describing the plant workflow through CleanCloud. We will go through exactly how your store can feed into a plant and how any other stores that you have will feed into the plant, be processed within the plant and come back out at the other end to go back to your customers. If you wanted a more detailed workflow, do consult our industry experts for a workflow review session. They'd be able to specify the exact specifics of the plant to your business operations and show you how it will function for you. To begin with, we can enter in the products for the order. For example, if it's a standard walk-in customer that's paying on collection, all we could do is find the customer through the search function here by any detail we have of them or add them in as standard here. If you are detailing your items in a different way, saying you're taking a quick drop, for example, versus detailing up front, this is something we can go through with our industry experts. For this order, I'm going to detail it up front for the customer. I'm currently finding our customer through any details we have of them. So I've started typing in my customer's phone number. And through here, we're able to enter in any new items for this order. It does bring you up with a summary of anything that's currently in the system. But we can go through that in more detail in a workflow review session. For this specific order, I'm just entering in a number of items. For a detailed view of the workflow for this process, consult our other video on the new order workflow. From here, we could submit our order and use any tags and print any receipts automatically that's needed for the system. If you're using heat seal barcodes, do consult our specific video on the use of heat seal barcodes and how it will work for your business. From here, now the order has been submitted, it will come to our clean page to be processed. This is where, from an in-store view, you'll be able to see all the items that your store needs to give back to customers, and it will refine it by the date it needs to go back to a specific customer by. For a more detailed view of the features on this page, do consult the view of the uh, new order workflow video, and you'll be able to see everything on there. The main specifics for a plant view though, are on this page, we are able to differentiate all the orders by what is in the plant with a P and what is currently in store with an S. This gives us a quick visual view of what is currently within our store and within the plant to be processed by customers. From here, we can go into the report section and select the give bag to driver option. This will by default select all the orders that are currently within your store and not at the plant to be cleaned. If you are, for example, keeping some orders in store, for example, alterations orders that don't go to your plant to be cleaned, you can deselect them in the system right here. And that will hold them back from going to the driver. Right here, we can select which driver is taking the items to the plant. And we can print a printout from there of the driver that's taking the item to the plant, detailing the number of pieces and what is actually going to the plant with the driver. From here, all orders in the system will be updated saying that they're in the plant. And if we switch to our plant workflow, we'll be able to see in the plant section exactly what is going to the plant with the driver here. On the plant overview mode, there are a number of sections that we can see at the top here. And there are a number of filters that we can put in to view the actual uh, workflow for the plant. For example, we're able to refine what, what you see in the plant by a store. And you're able to refine what you see in the plant on a garment level by selecting garments. In this first section, we can see what needs to be picked up from the store and what is remaining in all the stores outstanding that's not coming to the plant. For example, that order we did not select that was being left in the store is still here in the Washington Avenue store. The orders that we selected that are coming with the driver in the driver one section right here, ready to come to the store. If you have a quality control stage in your process, this would be the point where you select everything and check things through in the plant. For example, if we're adjusting things for Adam's order right here, we'd be able to update it for a specific reason. So we can reject products, adjust prices, edit any upcharges, for example. 
and then from here we'd be able to edit the order with a view with a restricted view of the point of sales so we're able to adjust exactly what's coming through and make sure all the orders are correct that's coming into the plant for example if this is not a t-shirt or if you wanted to add any upcharge to the t-shirt you'd be able to do that right here and any difference in the price will be reflected in the system and you can go through the specifics of that with your workflow uh, industry expert in a workflow review session from here any items that have been quality controlled will come into our pending section to be approved by a manager and these permissions can be given to managers um, through the user section in the system from here if you are scanning in items that have come from the store it's a very simple process of scanning the barcode on the receipt of the items and it will update them and progress them to the next section in the system obviously i don't have a barcode scanner but you can do this manually as well or you could do it on mass with the update all section and move it to different parts of the system if you are using an automatic assembly system such as metal progetti or quicksort do consult the industry expert that you are speaking to and they'll be able to go into detail on how this will work in the plant and how we're able to activate this for you. All of that will be conducted through the cleaning stage of the process and it will com communicate with the automatic assembly system in order to operate properly. From here in the cleaning process, uh, we're able to update individual garments, especially if they're using heat seal IDs, which they would pop up here. Otherwise, we're able to update the whole order and progress it to the next stage in the system. This can also be done with a barcode scanner for the receipts in the system. And when we update the orders in the system, we can update them all to go to the deliver to store section. This is another stage of quality control that's leaving orders that are ready to go back to the store on the specific page to be checked over if necessary. What we recommend from this part of the system here is to update the orders to a driver taking it back to the store. This can be done with a barcode as well and is exactly what we suggest just to make sure that what is going with the driver has been checked and scanned through to remove as much human error as possible. And from this, we'd be able to see any orders that are meant to be in the delivered to store section but have not been scanned through by the attendant giving it to the driver. This way we can make sure that no orders have been lost in the system on the plant side of things where most errors are likely to occur. Finally, when we have updated everything to the driver taken to the store section, we can move back to the system in the store to see exactly what happens here. Again, it's a very simple workflow of your attendants in store when they get the items with the driver, scanning the barcode on the receipt and updating it to move into the ready section of the system. If you're using rack locations, we can enable this prompt to pop up as well. And this workflow would be very simple. They'd scan the receipt, this prompt would pop up, they can scan the rack location and update the order so it's racked and ready to go back to customers. Through the automatic notifications we send out through the system as well, when the order is racked, it will notify the customer it's ready to be collected in the system and be on the ready page to go back to the customer. That does conclude a very general run through of the plant section and how multiple stores can feed into your plant and you can operate your plant within clean cloud. If you did want to go through a specific uh, detailed workflow review session, consult your industry experts or account manager, and they'd be able to run through that with you and potentially show you how you can specify the system to work exactly for you. If you do have any questions, email us at sales at clean.cloud. Thank you.